Hey, thanks for checking in on Bath Top Sir. Welcome back to Near Automata and don't 2B and 9S just look cool as hell right now. I have to just uh, start this video off with that angle because I thought they just looked awesome. But anyway, we've got machines to eliminate. So let's get to it. Take you out from afar. So we found out like, these weird sand people machines live out in the desert. They seem a little bit jaded by the desert heat, maybe. A little bit insane. They're still deadly, although they're also, like, spouting weird phrases, like, um, what was it, like, kill me or something? I can't remember. Yeah, like, here we go. Oh, kill enemy, yeah. Well, okay, let's get out of here. What's with the weird... Alright, see if we can heal quickly. We can. Oh my god, I get beat to crap so often. I've seen that sort of thing when I was going through some old data. It looks like what humans used to wear long ago. Certain human collectors yeah, used better. to use face paint like that too. Use our quick attack. Oh, level up, level seven, hell yeah. Okay, we're getting it now, we got this. Face paint, I heard being described there. I've got to admit, I didn't take much of that that uh, interaction in, unfortunately. I was too busy trying not to die. So many uh, stuff we're picking up, and I really don't think we're making the most of it. We haven't needed to just yet. Wow, this desert is so huge as well, oh my god. Um, well, we're not going to go over there yet because our objective doesn't take us that way. We don't want to get too sidetracked. I'm all up for getting sidetracked in open world games. I quite enjoy it. I like to, you know, get the most out of it. But that looks just <laughs> far too expansive. Whoa. What's just over this ridge? Oh my god. What the hell? Explosive. Robots charging at us. Oh, you know that would be like a one hit death for me. Man, level 7. Maybe we should um, check if that has expanded our uh, plug in chip space. Oh, so we could start from scratch for type B. Customize. Okay, I don't know what... I'm guessing optimized chip arrangement just makes it all close together as possible. Oh, I just don't get it. <laughs> don't understand. System, that's the small ones, right? Okay, I've got my head around that. Ah, we'll get there. I mean, it's hard to understand when you don't have a lot of room. Uh, where should we head? A torn book. And uh, we'll head over to... I think it's this one over here we need to go to. Oh. I think we're about to go out of our save area. So I'm just going to quick save it now. Save to be safe and all that. Right. It must be over here. I see an item pick up. It's probably where the enemies are going to spring from. Can we get down this ridge? Whoa. Okay, shoot first. Ask questions. Never. Man, they're far away. Yeah, that was it. Sentences like that. Help me. To be, it's fine. Their speech doesn't mean anything. They're just emitting words at random. If they wanted help, why would they be attacking us? Yeah. Doesn't sound so random to me. Oh wow, level 12 guy. Ah, oh, he's still easy. Cool. Get out of here. Oh. There's still a bunch here. Max HP up. Maybe we should look into using that.
Oh, these are quite tough, these ones. There we go. Still showed him who's boss. That was a nice bit of combat. I felt quite skillful there. Dodging is so important. And I'm inclined to use my strong attack more than my quick attack because my strong attack is equipped to my fast sword. Do you see what I mean? So I think my strong attack is actually quicker than my quick attack. I don't know, that's just confusing me even thinking about that. Um, right, where does that bit of map go? Oh, so that there is a dead end over there. Okay, cool. Must be where them giant rocks are. Cliff edges, whatever. So we'll head to the last area where we need to clear them out. We've done well. We haven't died. We've probably used way more uh, restorative oh, items than we should have. Oh, that's fun. Pick that up. Copper ore. Right. Hmm, that looks like a passageway into more desert. Oh, who's this guy? What the hell, are you friendly? Level 13. <laughs> he ran away. Okay. It's heading for that rocky area. Individual target ID marked. Right, looks like we're chasing this son of a gun. He seems different than the rest, doesn't he? He's a bit cheeky. Go on, you can do it. Whoa, there's a whole... Like, is this the same city? Must be. Desert housing. A bunch of flats. I know it sounds rid ridiculous to say because it was it's like a desert. What's that? Analysis. It is the ruin of a former human residential area. Large numbers of humans resided in such concrete and metal shelters. The structures were referred to by names such as apartment complex. Almost reminded me of Russia, is what I was going to say, where it done the overview of that playground there. Report. Mail notification received from access point. From the uh, Call of Duty 4 level, the ghillie suit level. But yeah, it's definitely not Russia. Um, access point's probably there then, I presume. Get it. Oh man, I like this music. Reminds me of like Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> like Snake Eater, something like that. Ah, another ancient mask. I don't know what they do yet. Right, we need to go this way. Oh, we can even run up to the top of the building. Oh, don't trip to me. Don't want to embarrass yourself in front of these enemies. Get out of here. Cheeky things. Um, yeah, definitely the save. And check our mail. Operator 60, Jupiter's Fortunes. 2B, have you heard of Jupiter's Fortune Telling? It's all the girls over in R&D have been talking about lately. They say you can examine the colour and shape of Jupiter's great red spot to learn about what kind of luck you'll have with health, work and love. Sounds amazing, right? I'll try and let you know what I find out. Okay. Oh, we didn't save, did we? I wonder if that's something we can partake in. We haven't been back to the space bunker in ages. Maybe that is a hint that it might be worth checking back. Who knows? Right, I need to climb this. There's no way we're just going to pass up that ladder without going up it. Look at this. Could be awesome treasures up here. I'm guessing we can just jump over that gap. Whoa! Okay, a little bit too fast. We got it. Slow and steady. Another gap here though. Oh, okay. Oh, no, is that? Right, no, okay. <laughs> you can't get up. Well, good to know. So where did this last robot run off to? I just 
just want to explore. So many nook and crannies in the environments. Look at that, look, a chest. Still can't open these ones though, unfortunately. Nah. Wonder what we have to do to open a chest like that. It must take keys, right? Because there's padlocks on top of them. Alright, okay, swing left. Whoa! Get out of here. Nice. So it's definitely wise to wait until after they attack as well. This is the bit that reminds me of like Russia. <laughs> I'm really not making myself sound well versed in geography, am I? Maybe I am. Who knows? Alright, let's carry on. Can we go in here? No. Is this him? There he is. Cheeky sod. Target confirmed. Let's get him. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get him. Whoa! Not bad, thank you. How are you? Cool, they're dead. They had awesome swords, them lot. Aha, maybe we can explore up here. Yeah, a big old chest. You obtained a weapon? Fang of the Twins! Oh my god, could you think of a better name for a weapon? Fang of the Twins. Oh, just sounds awesome. Let's have a look at it. Colossal axe offered unto the gods. Right. I'm thinking of swapping it out for the virtuous virtuous treaty just to have a little go. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna swap that with virtuous contract. Um so that the quick sword is our quick attack. And then Fang of the Twins will be our heavy attack. Oh, light attack, so it's not necessarily quick. Okay. Looks alright. How does it look? Oh, it is very slow, so we must be careful if we're going to use it. Almost Dark Soulish. Still, that is the first substantial bit of loot we found, I believe. Slower than the other sword we were using. I may switch back to the sword. Oh! Well, okay. You got it. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, you're lucky. I thought I got you then. <laughs> oh, guys, stop it. Don't like hearing him say ow. Giving me remorse. I thought you were just empty robots. Empty mechanical tin cans. More. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Okay. I'm not scared. Keep our eye on him though. Looks like he's about to charge. What's he doing? The limbo? No, he's spitting some out. He's spitting out level 12s. That is no joke. Well, are we even damaging him? I'm not sure we are. Oh come on, we're not going to get near them arms. This looks like a good way to go. <laughs> Did we do good then? Okay, back off, back off. Is this doing damage? I can't quite tell. I mean, does this constitute as a boss? I think it might do. You're going to spin? 
<laughs> it's worth his legs then. Get out, get out of there. <laughs> that would definitely one hit us, right? Okay, we're damaging him. All careful, the dark purple ones will end our day rather quickly. Oh, you've got to get the centre of his body, that's where the damage is. We'll shoot him, I'll happily shoot him to death. Don't care how he dies, as long as he does. Oh, he's down. What an awesome enemy. Unit data has been updated. We need to look into all that stuff more, don't we? I've seen it pop up a lot. Level 8 already. Stripped screw. Okay. Um, let's have a little look then. Our uh, intel, maybe? Unit data, here it is. Standard machines. The small stubby. Oh, wow, there's a lot to get through here. I'm going to have a look at a few of them. So they're called stubbies. That's good to know. The most common of the small machine life forms, these units bear a similarity to spring power toys created by humans in the past. This was likely done for the sake of increased productivity, though machine life forms are built from modular parts and have many variations. Equipped with projectile weapons, these units attack by firing energy rounds. While the masses of energy travel slowly, they have enough firepower to easily damage an android's armor. A pod's projectile attack have no effects on shielded units, making close combat the most effective method of disposal. Yeah. I've oh, seen the multi-tier. So that's multiple bodies of the stubbies. <laughs> you might have left to wonder why it even exists at all. Ah, okay. You look rather similar. A small machine life form with limbs similar to those of a human. It's less than sizable build makes it well suited to swift attacks. Ah, oh, we've seen the medium sized ones. Yeah. These arms give it tremendous versatility in, bat in battle as it can also equip a great many weapons. Ah, this is who we just fought. This humanoid Goliath class machine. Ooh. Oh wow, we can make it animate. <laughs> okay, let's get back to it. Um, this humanoid Goliath class machine life form is actually a colony of smaller machines that uses their combined energy to move one massive body. The expandable slide rail arms punish all who draw close, while the liquid fuel rocket engine on its back grants short-lived flight abilities. It also boasts powerful projectile weapons and the transport apparatus of the linked machines that comprise it, making it a dangerous foe with no apparent weakness. Okay, we'll go, we'll go back to them. Won't do them all now, as it may get a, a tad too much. But we'll check back and slowly work through our intel. Cool. And the, the twin fangs. Done its bit. Oh, that wasn't even you! <laughs> yes, wrong way, my friend. He's kind of grown on me. What makes them choose these words? Where's he gone? He's quick, though. Also, I'm really pleased how we did that mini boss first go. Oh. Hypothesis. They were killed by local machine life forms. Oh, man. That's what pretty unsettling. Here? Unknown. It's like they were gathered here. Look at them all. It's been a massacre. I wonder if there's any 2B models here. Wait a second, was that one of my old bodies? Is that why we could soak it up? Moving speed up plus two obtained. Let's try and equip some of these. So moving speed isn't in the enhancement items. Nullifies electrical attacks. Weapon attacks do it's only lasts for fifteen seconds though. Support items, materials, key items. So where would I find the speed up then? Would it be in here? All chips. Damage, weapon attack, counter, charge, resilience. Moving up speed, yeah, it's here. Alright. Let's find our friend. Where's he gone? They don't give up. Run. <laughs> run. Must run. 
Yeah, that's not a random series of words. He's being very coherent, 9S. I think you may have got the wrong end of the stick. Oh no, this looks bossy. Multiple machines detected ahead. But what's with these android bodies? Stay focused. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> We're nowhere near a save point. It's gone eerily quiet. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Crap. Oh, I actually took damage from that fall. Oh no. Child. 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 What is this? I don't want to kill them. To them to be. Together forever. Together forever. Whoa. Can we? They don't have any feelings. I can't They're kill just her. imitating human speech. Let's take them out. Are you sure? I'll get you on this. We haven't done anything. Well, okay. Okay, now now I feel fine about attacking them. Alright, and then... Take some of this. We used our... Uh... Oh my god! We used um, the melee attack up. We'll give ourselves a bit of a boost. I'm tempted to heal again, but doing the what? Oh crap! I'm such an idiot. I'm the biggest idiot that ever idioted. Right, we are back. This time I will not die. They don't I have was, any uh... feelings. They're just imitating Oh god! Speech. I'm just gonna Let's attack them straight away this time. Oh god! I've been hit. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. Right, so. I do realise how in my last death I was like, oh, well, I reckon I can take one more hit, and then I died. Oh crap, this guy again. So I need to be really careful. Maybe we should just work on the main guy. The main guy's dead now. Wonder if all the rest will follow. Oh crap, there's so many. Is there more jumping in? Oh, look at them all. Okay, I guess we're just trying to hurt them. I don't know if I can deal with all this much. Whoa, there's loads. Bloody hell. You're going to start dying, guys. Get out of there. We don't want to get in the middle too much. <laughs> I don't think this can continue. Oh my god. We're getting overrun. Oh thank god. I think we were just about to die there. <laughs> what? What is going on with these guys? I don't know, but it can't continue. Oh, do you remember when I said there might be a boss? <gasps> what on earth? An android? No, this this is a machine. Who are you? We're fighting him. He's only level one. I see no signs of attacking. <gasps> oh god. Droids. Why? Fight. 
I don't know. He's, he's just gone up to level 3. Oh, we need to heal. We're not at full health. Uh, what else could we use? Melee defense, for sure. Melee attack. And range attack, why not? We don't know what we're up against here, so... I don't want to risk it. Sword. Dodge. Huh? Projectile. Deflect. I think Whoa. he's evolving. We he is. Finish this quick. He's definitely evolving. Where's he gone? Get out of there. Oh. Level 6 now. He's going to overtake us soon. Oh, that hurt him. Come on, you got this. We gotta shoot him down. Where's he gone? It's okay, we got this, we got this. Let's keep dodging. Where is he now? There he is. Do it, 2B and 9S. Oh god, I wish oh, we should come back on the floor. Where is he? Where the hell is he? There. Back on the floor. <gasps> Seriously, one hit? You can't... You, no. Surely not. Thank God the, the game isn't totally evil. <laughs> it started us off at the boss fight. I don't know what I would have done. I don't know whether I need to get my corpse back though. Alright, let's Why have a look around quickly. Fight. Any corpse? No, I don't see a corpse. What is this thing? Who is this guy? Why is he so strong? Sword. Dodge. No. Projectile. Don't dodge sword. Deflect. Run into sword. Evolving. We better finish this quick. Oh, he's just... Oh, he's... Yeah, he's turning back, in. Don't try and kick me. <laughs> Crap. I get cocky. Uh, if you don't mind, we're just gonna... Pop this in again. Oh, hell, we use two. Behind him. Be good if he stays at level six. No. Nope. Ah, oh, this is when he goes up top. Okay, fine. We can do this. Just need to dodge these projectiles, and he ends up climbing back down. Right. Come on, you got this, two B. This comes out the floor. Yeah, we know that. We've got that. Quite easy to dodge. And goes up on the left side. On the floor again. Now where does he go? Oh, he's over there. Seems to have hurt him. It's what killed me last time. Yeah, he's got more attacks. Whoa, careful. Get out of there. Oh man. Ooh, just keep dodging. We'll be fine. We'll get through this. <laughs> nope, no, nope, no. Nope, don't like it. Back off, back off. Dodge. Yes, good hit. He's level 9 now. Whoa! No! Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> health. Let's restore our health. Oh, 
Oh, okay, it's fine. Come on, you got this. Level 10, crap, crap. Where is he? He's very nearly dead. Can I even let 9S finish him off? No, can't do that. One out of the way. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Okay, we've leveled up. Is he down? Oh, did we get that blast? Yes, 9S. Yes, 2B. What a way to die, eh? <laughs> oh, what a finisher move. That was high octane stuff. Really a machine? <laughs> no, please don't come back to life. Damn it, not another one. Oh, we just created twins. Come on, through that hole. Okay, through that hole sounds good. Let's get there. Whoa. Yeah, we'll have to have a look at the unit date for that thing. Go, go, go. Whoa. We got this. Oh, good jump. Alright, we made it in the hole. Can we get out of here? Nines, are you with us? I hope so, I'm not looking back. It stopped. Looks like we're safe now. Oh, good. What the hell just happened? I know. I've never seen a machine like that before. We better report this to command. Yeah, I think they'd probably want to know about that. Um, I don't think we can go that way, can we? That looks like a very sheer drop. I'm really tempted to surf down it though. Let's move to an area with better reception so we can contact command. All right, sounds good. Medium recovery obtained. Lord knows we needed that. Is there enemies around here? Oh, I really want to jump in. No, I can't jump in. Stupid. Oh, we've seen that before. Like the other side of it, I'm sure we have. Oh, we've got company. Take that. Get out of here. If we just took on that crazy baby man, we can do anything. Especially a couple of level 13. Are they called stumps? No, they're not stumps. Let's kick him. Stubbies. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Just come back to me. Yeah, level 13 stubbies aren't going to be any issue. Oh, can we push this again? Oh, we can. Hmm. Don't know where I'd want to push that. We'll leave it where it is for now. Oh, right. Is this the caverns I went in last episode? I think it might be. No, just the Okay, this is good. We should be able to reach command here. Okay. I want to get someone up and save. Closer. Do you copy? I read you 9S. Go ahead. Operator, we uh we just encountered a pair of humanoid machines. We weren't able to capture them, but I have combat data ready for upload. Understood. Ready to receive. Hopefully you can get something out of it. Okay. Whoa. We can save again, thank god. And it's probably wise that I do that. 
quick save. And then, where are we now? Body? Oh, my body was left down there. From when I got killed in the boss fight. I'm really tempted to go and have a look for that body. To hell with it, eh? I know this is stupid. I know it's stupid. Gotta give it a go though, right? Oh man. So, let's just check before we do this. We go through there. So our body is in the arena we just were. Ah, oh, maybe we shouldn't go for it. I think we might die. No, <laughs> we're not going to go for it. I don't think we can get in there. It's a, it's a cave in, right? Everything collapsed. There's no way we can do that. What level? I'm level 9 though, so it's not too bad. Torn book. I don't know what you're used for. Oh, but I think we missed things like our XP bar. Let's have a look. Oh, we've still got that. Okay, I don't really know what you lose from dying then. Get it. Let's see what the merchant's got. Oh, there's two. Oh, jackass. I hear you kicked some tin can ass out in the desert. So I guess, you know, thanks or whatever. You're welcome, Jackass. Hey, welcome back. Thanks for securing access to those desert resources. It's a huge help. I know it isn't much, but please take this. It's the least I can do. Oh, and be sure to swing by if you ever need anything, all right? Okay, cheers. Small recovery. What can yeah, I, I want to buy with? some stuff. Um, we need a ton of these. We can afford 10. Sound waves, enemy data. So all ones with one means we already have it, right? Fishing spots. And I don't have room for anything else. That's where I'm getting confused. A pouch that emits a scent animal's love. Nah, I don't want that. Okay, let's try saving here. And then heading to this red marker. Whew. I think we've earned a breather. Say to be. I was hoping we could talk about our next move. I'm worried about the damage we took in that last battle with the machines. Maybe we should return to the resistance camp to resupply and conduct maintenance. Uh. Okay. Sure. I'm up for that. All right. Let's go back. You got. Are you just gonna warp us there? That'd be really handy. No, okay. Gotta do it myself. I see how it is. Well, I think that's probably an opportune place to leave this episode of Near Automata. If you enjoyed this episode, please go ahead and leave a like. Also, a great deal. It was a pretty wild one. I reckon that counts as a boss fight, that humanoid we took on. Um, yeah, if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. There's a lot of mysteries in this game. Can't wait to unravel. But yeah, subscribe and I'll bring it to you. But anything else you want to raise, I could really do some tips because. I don't understand the plugin stuff a lot. Um, so any tips or anything like that you can give me, leave a comment below and I'll make sure I get back to you. See you.